Making candles is a super fun and creative way to incorporate fragrance into your space. They're atmospheric, easy to use, and can be customized in tons of ways to suit your needs. But what happens when things go wrong? Whether you're a beginner or a pro, one of the most common mistakes made among candle makers is using ingredients that aren't suited for quality candle making. This includes the wrong fragrance, colorant, wax, additives, and more. Not all fragrance oils are designed for use in candles, so make sure the ones you have are specified by the manufacturer to be good for candle usage. Additionally, crayons, food dye, and water-based colorants are just a bad idea. And of course, you also need to make sure you're using the right containers. Plastic melts and wood burns, so those are out. Even thin walled glass containers like certain wine glasses can shatter when exposed to high heat. Candle making is a science which requires you to measure your ingredients precisely. Both wax and fragrance oil are measured by weight because they all have different densities. This means two different bottles of fragrance may contain different volumes while still weighing the same. Measuring your supplies out by weight, whether you use ounces or grams, ensures you are using the exact amount of ingredient you need. It can also be very tricky to read volume measurements on beakers, which can lead to imprecise measurements that lead to poorly burning candles. So, use a scale. You'll thank me later. When you make a candle, you're probably excited to burn it right away to see what your hard work amounted to. However, it's important to wait the recommended curing time as per your wax specifications. During this curing time, the fragrance oil can even distribute throughout the wax, settling into a crystalline structure. This time also allows the wax to cool and harden completely. It may seem like the candle's wax has fully solidified within a couple of hours of being poured, but it's not there quite yet. If the candle is burned before the wax has had time to fully harden, it can burn inconsistently, leaving you with an uneven, unsatisfactory burn and throw. It may seem simple to pour your candle, allow it to cure, and boom, just like that, you're done. But the only way to make sure you did everything right in the candle making process is to test it. This means fully burning the candle until all the wax has been spent, or until you run into a potential problem. Whether you're new to candle making or you're a seasoned pro, we hope this list helps you out a bit. It may seem easy to jump into the world of candles, but it's important to go in with plenty of know-hows beforehand. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a ton. See you guys next time.